Hi, today I want to talk about the ESP32 and an ESP8285 small module and how to connect both of them and talk together with ESP now. So first we have to wire up our ESP8285 and my module I use an external USB to UART converter and first we connect the ground pin and the 3.3 volt VCC pin and then we cross over the RX and TX pin from the UART connection to the UART converter and we also need to connect a push button or what have you to the reset pin so we can program our module and we connect um, the switch to ground. And also we need the GPIO pin zero and connect them via a switch to ground. And now we can program our ESP8285. And now let's have a look at the bench and I've got the ESP8285 delivered in the anti-static back. And as you see, if I remove them from the back, the module have the size of my finger. So maybe my finger are so big or the module are so small. And on the back side, we can see on the silk screen where all the pins are located. And so on the one location, I soldered the pin header. And also on the side, I've soldered a wire to GPIO pin zero. So we can connect them all on the breadboard to the switches. And as you see on the pin header, I connected the USB to UART converter with a RX pin, TX pin, VCC and ground. And we can also compare the size of the ESP8285 module with the ESP32 development board. And as you see, there's a huge size difference. So this is a very small ESP Now test program. You can check my GitHub page. But first, let us check if we done everything for programming. So we need to press the GPIO pin zero and reset pin. And as you see, we get an RL, RL or what have you command. I think this is for stands for reloading all the program into the flash memory. So we are prepared to upload our program and just I use the generic 8285 module and my connection goes to TTY USB one this time and I use the upload speed not the 115 200 I use a little bit higher upload speed so let's upload the program to our module and as you see we're using the ESP8266 extensor compiler and as you see, we are writing to our flash memory. So nearly done, 63% and uploading. So this is a little bit slower than for the ESP32 because we can use much higher UART speed. But I've not tested a higher speed for uploading. So let's prepare our ESP now sketch and I press the reset button and we can see what's going on. Yes, we have configured our hardware address for the access point and as you see and we receiving a message from our ESP32. So this is from the ESP32 message number 12, message number 13, 14 and so on. So I think this is working. So I can just leave this open and start another Arduino IDE. So let's see why ESP32 is on TTY USB 0 and just ignore the sketch. This is just a blink sketch. We just want to see what's on the serial monitor output for the ESP32. So we can compare this with the output on the other side. So I press the reset button. This is ESP32. This is the ESP82 
85. So as you see, we start by the message number one and we're receiving message number one from our ESP32. So I think this is a success. And as you see, the hardware address is already paired between both of the modules. So we have the 62 hardware address and so on on our ESP8285 and we get the 24 and so on hardware address on our ESP32. So maybe at the start we can see this. Yes, here's our MAC address. Now we can see this MAC address and yes, it's working. So thanks for clicking my video and I hope you enjoy it and learn something today. And as always, you can subscribe to my channel and check the bell button to get informed by new videos or other messages. And if you find some errors or have some questions, please write some comments. I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.